stay with me. You promised to stay with me and until... Until you are well again. You are going to be well again, you know. Read the future. The tarot cards. Yes. Aunt Natalie read them. You're going to live in England. And be very prosperous and happy. Oh, believe me, Barnabas. You are going to be well again. No. Don't say that. I keep hearing the bat. So loud, it's... Get it away from me. Of course I will. Yes. Do anything. Anything at all. I love you still. I never stopped. No matter how hard I try. Barnabas. I will come back. Do you believe me? Yes. Will you wait? Yes. I promise. Listen to me. Please. Believe me. Don't leave me or I'll have no one. Please. I love you. As wrong as it is. I love you. I will never love anyone else. I promise. I promise I will wait for you. Barnabas. Mrs. Dolan! I heard someone call. No, I swear it. It was thunder. Listen. Don't you hear that? Well, what is it? Mrs. Collins, it's coming from outside the house. I must go to them. No. I must see Barnabas. No, your your husband and Josette are with him. If there was if he was worse, they would tell us. You need some rest. How can I rest? It's getting louder. It's a bat! It's a bat! brought you here. Oh, he's gone. Josette. He's gone. What am I going to do? What? When you feel better, we'll, we'll take you to the new house. And then tomorrow we'll make plans. I can't. I can't. And after tomorrow comes the day after tomorrow. It will grow easier. No. We will see that it does. Love him. Do you hear? I love him. I couldn't say that before even to you when he was alive. I do. I love him. I loved him since the first time I ever saw him. Yes. Yes, I, I know. He can't be dead. He can't. He is. He is. The book was wrong. The book is a vicious joke. I didn't care what it said about me. Of course you cared. No. No. You we were well. Not in England, as the book has said. Oh, oh, Aunt Natalie. I wanted so much to believe that. I would have done anything to make that part come true. The book is wrong. That is all that matters. I must see Mrs. Collins. No, no, wait. Wait until you feel better. She will need someone so much. 
We will both need each other. Riggs for the Reverend Taylor. Joshua? No, I didn't send for him. Why not? I don't think tonight is the time to discuss this. Is Angelique with Barnabas? Yes. I will remain here in this house tonight. You will go to the new house with Josette. In the morning, everything will be taken care of. What will be taken care of, Joshua? Is it necessary that we talk now? It is. I had several decisions to make. Difficult ones, believe me. I had to take into account the nature of my son's illness. Our son's illness? You will only be upset, Naomi. You must trust me. I want to know what decisions you've made. What do you think the people in the village would think if they knew that one of us died of the plague? Do you think that they would come to work in the shipyards? No, they would run in the opposite direction. I have to think of other people, Naomi. I don't understand. Everyone must know. Everyone will know. We will discuss this later. We will discuss it now. Ah, Josette. I trust you are feeling better. Well, as I could be. Oh, I would appreciate it, madam, if you would take Mrs. Collins to the new house. We will do anything we can. No. I am not leaving until I understand. We were discussing the arrangements that have to be made. My husband is loath to talk about it. That's wrong of me. Obviously, all of you are involved. For various reasons, I have decided to keep my son's death a secret. What? A secret? It is my wish, and I trust that you will honor it. But why? The why does not concern you, madam. Tomorrow I will spread the word that Barnabas left suddenly on a business trip to England. England? Josette. The book. The book. It's true. <gasps> Come to take the casket. Take the casket? Yes, to the grave. Is my husband to have no service of any kind? We have all prayed. He is to be denied a proper burial. The one who has admitted to me that she's never been baptized. I have some rights. As far as I'm concerned, you have none. Legally, need I remind you? You tricked my son into marrying you. You have never given me a chance. Even now, you refuse to accept the fact that I have sorrow that I, more than anyone else, feel, feel such grief. I have never been influenced by displays of emotion. I will not let you take him away. You have no choice. I will decide where he is to be buried and when. It has already been decided. He must be buried tonight. Why? Death of my son would panic the people in the village. I have seen what fear of the plague can do. You may have the body in the morning. Tonight I must be alone with him. You have already been alone with him. There is no time. Later in the day we will decide what you are to do. I will do nothing that you ask, unless you leave him here. That is impossible. I'm spreading the word that my son left hurriedly for England on important business. Why, that's insane. And you will say nothing to the contrary. Won't I? I will tell the entire town that your son died and you buried him in a secret grave. You are alone now. You have no one to protect you or to help you. Remember that. Now you will excuse me. 
I will summon the servants. Ben? Ben? Wherever you are hiding, hear me, come to me, I need you. Oh, more than I have ever needed you before. You must come to me. At once, Ben. At once. I played the tarot cards to see into the future. And now, here it is, in a book. Published, it says, in Bangor, Maine, the year 1965. But Bangor is in Massachusetts. And 1965 is 200 years away. Can Miss Winter's story be true? Can she have come from another time? Or is this book some monstrous joke, some work of the devil to frighten us from here by telling us that Josette will die. You are reading that book again? To, to keep from thinking. Tell me, how is Mrs. Collins now? Asleep. For the moment. Perhaps she should spend the night here. No, not in this house. We should go to the new house. You're, you're exhausted. I should not have allowed you to sit with her. I should have insisted you leave. No, no, I wanted to stay. It's done us both good talking of Barnabas. Josette. Remembering him almost made us forget that... No, we will never forget him, neither of us. Ever. No, of course not. But it will be easier after we leave here. When we return to Martinique, it will all seem a, a nightmare we once shared. When will you be going back? When will we be going back? Isn't that what you meant? Because we must leave immediately. You do believe this book, don't you? I didn't say that. But you must if you're so anxious to go away. We have no reason to stay now. Jeremiah's estate is still not settled. The barristers are settling it, not us. While father is in New York, on business, he still feels it. However he feels now, he will feel differently when I show him this. Why don't you admit that you believe that book? That you think that it does foretell what's going to happen to me? Josette, I don't understand it. What I don't understand, I run from. Is, is that wrong? I don't know what is wrong or right anymore. I will take no chances. We will pack tonight and leave in the morning. No. You can't want to stay here. I have promised someone I must stay. Promised to whom? I cannot say. I insist. No, please, Aunt Natalie. Josette, you cannot expect me to allow you to stay unless I know who have you promised. If I tell you, will you let me be? Oh, I can't promise that. There's one person and one person alone who could ask me to stay, and I would. You should know who. It's Barnabas. Josette. He is dead. He will come back to me, here. He has promised me that. Don't you feel sorry for me? I love him. His death cannot change that. He will come back to me. How? I don't know that. But he will come back. So, the rest of your life will be spent here. 
Yes. Waiting. Thinking each day this will be the one. Oh, it's insane. I think not. Follow you there. I am sorry. I thought you had gone. Where are you taking him? I would like to tell you, but I cannot tell you, my dear Josette. His death is our secret, and the less you know, the better. I don't understand. Nor I, Mr. Cullen, since we are so involved. You must trust me, madam. Now I would suggest that you both return to the new house. I will see Mrs. Collins home myself. I must know where you're taking him. Josette. I have to know. We will discuss it tomorrow. No! What's that? Where? What? Where is it? What? There is no one here at the window. You are upset, understandably. Let me see you to your carriage. <laughs> 